Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Fiorente, professional polo umpire. Welcome to Polo In. In this video, we'll be seeing together how to clear the danger and the impossible passes. It is very important to understand that in addition to hit the ball forward and backwards, you can hit the ball towards the boards, as the blue player is doing it in this example. And here again the blue player. What we want is take the ball away from the center of the field and so clear the danger. Here the white player clears the ball, hitting it to the left. He hits the ball towards the boards and his team clears the danger. Again, the white player hits the ball toward the boards and his team clears the danger. A mistake in the center of the field close to the goal can mean a goal for the opponent team, as you can see in this example. That's why it is a good solution to hit the ball sideways towards the boards. Here the great player takes advantage of a mistake and scores a goal. In any case it is much better to hit the ball towards the boards and not to leave it in the center of the field. In this example the blue player takes advantage of a ball left in the center of the field. Watch carefully the green player. He has no intention of passing the ball. It is clear that he is going to keep playing with auto passes. The other green player with the white cap is waiting for a pass on the left. This pass will be impossible. This pass is impossible to make because both players go at the same speed and on parallel tracks. The only solution for this pass to be possible would be for the player with the ball to decelerate and wait the other player to pass way in front of him. Usually when a pass like this is called, the player ends up losing control of his horse and missing the ball. Like in this case, where the great player with the reduced speed reaches his teammate with the pass, giving Hangul to his pass. But then he goes on the left and looks for an impossible pass from his teammate. It would be simply impossible for the player with the ball to hit a 90 yard swing under the neck which could reach his teammate. Have a look at the number one red player. Which possibilities does he have to play the ball, seeing in which direction his teammate goes with the ball? The player with the ball decelerates, hits a ball to the left with an angle, but the number one red player has not a chance to get that ball. It here the white player gets nervous because of the pass request from his teammates. He hits a good pass under the neck, though his white teammate goes and gets the ball in the wrong place. It is simply not possible to hit a ball under the neck with such an angle and so far and with so little time. The ball goes towards the boards. This was totally predictable, wasn't it? Watch the green player now. First, he makes a pass towards the boards, then he accelerates toward the left, searching for a pass he'll never receive. He should get closer to the other green player to make it easier for his teammate to pass him the ball. The pressure of his teammate, the wrong horse speed, and the pressure of his opponent, the green player ends up missing the ball. Let us see now the black player I pointed out. 
he pressures and calls his teammate, who is going at a certain speed, to pass him the ball with an under-the-neck swing. He puts so much pressure on his teammates that his teammates ends up hitting the ball out. If the player with the ball doesn't steady his horse and takes time to hit the pass, the result can only be missing the ball or sending it outside of the field. The pass was impossible. Here again, the great player starts accelerating and does an auto pass. And then all of a sudden he sees his teammate on the right hand side in the middle of the field asking for a pass. But he cannot pass him the ball because he's parallel to him. Passing the ball to his teammate implies hitting the ball with a lot of speed, with a lot of angle, which is very difficult. The best thing for the great player would be to diminish his speed and go behind the player with the ball, but he continues to accelerate. The player with the ball tries to pass the ball to his team, but the pass, as it could be expected, is not strong enough. The conclusion is that both players took the wrong decision. Here the white player accelerates with the ball. Do you see a pass possibility? No! First of all, because the ball goes very close to the boards. Secondly, because the player with the ball is marked, so it's very complicated. And when it is complicated, do not expect a pass. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.